they just told me I was going to do it. <laughs> That's because college things were big then, you know. The guys covering Missouri and K-State and KU, they didn't want to give up those beasts of the unknown pro team. Was that how it was kind of viewed that this was? Yeah, I know it. Like, and, and Jack Stedman said, well, we're going to have ticket prices for 5 6 and $7, which is really, he thought was really big. And so people around town, wait a minute, we can go see a good college game for $3. What? Why are we going to pay that much? No, we had to introduce him. They told me, he says, well, do a news story for the morning paper and then do a uh, meet the Chiefs for the afternoon. So that was my afternoon story. I interviewed everybody, all the veterans on my team, you know. Uh, I think accessibility was a key word. They, they wanted to sell the product. So I could do anything. I used to go in the dorms and interview people. If they were taking a nap or something, I'd wake them up. And, and also, the star set up a deal where we want to travel with the team. The star would pay what was equivalent to a fare. I don't know whether it's illegal or not, but they did it that way. So. And, you know, you, I made all the charter flights. Wow. Which, which was good. You had access to a story at the time. Right. Well, you traveled you with your team, but you had a heck of a time finishing up a morning story and then rushing to catch the plane to come back. So it didn't have any quotes in it or anything like that. And the dressing room man, well, when we started using two people instead of just one, 